Hi everyone, today I'm here to talk about Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Sorry if I said her first name wrong, but it is a book about a girl named Kaya surviving in a marshland. And there are going to be spoilers throughout this just because it's pertinent to kind of discuss about what the book is about. So if you want to go read this book and then come back or if you don't care about some spoilers, like I'm not going to say anything major that you won't, you know, that'll spoil it completely, like Star Wars spoiler, Darth Vader is Luke's father, nothing that insane. But <laughs> just so you're aware, if you want to go read it first and then come back and watch this, please do. So Kaya's family basically abandons her when she's young. All of her, her father is abusive, so first her mom leaves and then one by one her older siblings leave until she's left alone in this marsh by herself and she just survives off the land and is of course kind of shunned by society because most everyone else lives in the town and she lives out by herself and so people think she's uneducated and dumb and weird and you know, things like that. So, but she does, she survives by herself out in the marsh and I really loved seeing how she did that because I feel like a lot of people today don't know how to survive off the land, period. So if any big world disaster happened and we suddenly had to go back to living off the land, most of us would die. And I honestly think living off the land is something they should teach you in school. Like what plants you can eat, which plants you can't eat, how to harvest things, how to catch things, anything like that is way more useful than what they taught us in school, in my opinion. And I get that this is a work of fiction, so obviously I'm not going to say her life is ideal, but she does survive because she's the main character in the novel. But there are people today, you know, that still live off the land um, throughout the world. And so it is a thing that is still happening. And I really liked seeing how clever she was and how she figured out ways to get money and survive. That was really nice. My biggest complaint is... So there's going to be some spoilers in this part. Uh, if you want to plug your ears or whatever. But... The last chapter of the book is basically a summary of the rest of Kaya's life and I really, 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 really hate when authors do this. It's kind of like the story's over but for some reason they feel like giving us like snippets of the rest of the person's life. So the first, you know, 300 pages or whatever are us learning about Kaya growing up and all the major things that happened to her over her life or whatever. And then it's like three paragraphs about the last 40 years of her life. I despise when authors do this. Another example of this would be like the Westing game where there was like an epilogue and it talked about what happened to each of the people that participated in the Westing game. And I was like, I don't care. Like the story that we actually cared about is done. And so I really, really hated the last chapter of this book, to be honest. I hate when they do that. They'll just try to summarize everyone's life in, you know, three pages or whatever. I, I, I don't like that at all because this is also a bit of a murder mystery in the novel. And so it is revealed who is the murderer at the end of the last chapter after that dumb, in my opinion, summary of the rest of Kaya's life. But I feel like that also could have been done in a different way without this little summary snippet thing of the rest of her life. Like, yeah, it, it definitely could have been done differently and still revealed who the murderer was, but not have to have this weird, and then this, this, this happened, and then she was gone at the end. So I really did not like that. <laughs> It honestly pissed me off so much that I was like, I don't know if I like this book anymore. Um, I think I would still suggest it because like I said, I like the character of Kaya. She's a strong woman. She gets so much crap piled on top of her, but she keeps going. And that was good to see. I would just tell you honestly not to read the last chapter <laughs> because to me, it was obvious who the murderer was and yeah, so that didn't need to be there. And please, please, if you're writing books and it's not important to put the next 40 years of the person's life at the end because for some reason 
you feel like it gives closure to your readers, please don't do that, please. <laughs> that could just be me, maybe that's a me opinion, but I really think that it's kind of like pointless because the main story that we cared about is over. Like we don't need to read what happens throughout the rest of the characters' lives unless you feel like writing another book about that, like an entire book about that because it's that important. Because if it's not that important, we don't really need it. Once again, my opinion. <laughs> so yes, but that was Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. Still a good book. And I know a lot of people liked it. I liked it. The last 100 pages weren't my favorite and definitely the last chapter was not my favorite at all. But yeah, so my question is, have you ever seen a crawdad? I do live somewhere where crawdads live, but you kind of have to go out next to a lake and find them. Like, I've seen one when I was a child because I just haven't looked for them since then. So I can definitely say that I've seen them, but it's not like they're just hip and hopping it around where I live. So if you've seen a crawdad before, or if you live somewhere where they're super common, let me know because I would find that interesting. And just, if you like my reviews, please like and subscribe and also comment down below because I'll respond to your comments. I like having people comment on my videos, it's helpful. And um, yeah, thank you so much for listening and have a great day.